Oh, I, I totally just misread that as mature always wins. There's something wrong with my mind. You know, sometimes I just get these horrible ideas and I, I can't actually justify putting them on a main channel type of deal. So instead, we're on ISP number two, aka just ISP. Funnily enough, I do always wonder if there are people on this channel that don't even know I have another channel, which, um... Save yourself the trouble. Don't bother go looking for it. So you'll just wake up and think, damn, I really want to establish communism in the world. I feel like it hasn't been tried enough times. I mean, why the hell wouldn't you want to think that? I can't think of any single person in the world that might have a problem with that. Hold on a second. First off, though, we've got to hit the cesspool of the internet, the Steam Workshop. Hold on, hold on, a, hold on a second there, comrade. McDonald! Here you go, why don't we just search up communism and see what we turn up. Okay, the real sad thing here is that I actually am already subscribed to some of these mods by the look. Oh, these look fitting for a city skylines game. You know what? We'll get a bunch of these and we'll just stick them outside the McDonald's. I'll teach those guys for going against the damn motherland. You know, I just made it easy. I'm just gonna grab every single mod and we'll just see what happens. We'll see what turns up in my mod list and what works and what doesn't work. This is an active military soldier communism on a God props package. This is a decoration, but it has too much triz. I hope you know it before subscribe this. Thanks. Oh, clearly my Russian is much better than I thought, because I understood every single bit of that. Oh. Now this is what I'm talking about, comrade! You know, whilst the Soviet Union might have fallen, uh, I'm pretty sure if it wasn't for the larder, it probably would have fallen like 20 years before it did. Just look at that. If that doesn't smell of bread lines and potato famine, I don't know what does. It just went, <laughs> went into the comment section for it. It's just... <laughs> It's just Russian Thomas the Tank Engine. Ah, right, sing along, kids. You all know the words. Thomas, главный озорник. Шип, песен. Верси, почтальон. Гордон, очень грозный он. Uh, one day, Gabe Newell's just gonna have to send me an email at some point and tell me to stop hogging up all the bandwidth for the Steam Workshop servers by the looks, because uh, <laughs> this is getting pretty bad. Wait a sec, I don't even know what half these mods are now. Fully automated luxury gay space communism flag. <laughs> oh, we gotta turn that one on. So yeah, today I just want to do what all good boys do when they're bored, and that is establish communism in the United States of America. Oh man, this just, this is not gonna work one little bit. I, I need to make some changes immediately. I mean, first things first, I don't know how important this river is or this spring, but I, it just needs to go, okay? It's in the way. Nobody likes a river. All right, now it's time for me to show you my masterpiece. It's already storming. The, the game knows what I'm about to do. Just uh, gotta make sure I'm picking the most appropriate road for my communist uh, experiment. <laughs> God, my, my, my greatest enemy. The curved road. Can I can never get it right. The many challenges in life. Exams. Women. Being able to do your taxes correctly. Nothing has bested me more than the curved road in City Skylines. Oh god, no, I just finished my masterpiece and there's a tornado. God. No, I bet it's the CIA. They've hacked into my computer and they're trying to stop me establishing communism. Oh no, I, I've angered the gods of America right here. That's Colonel Sanders and Ronald McDonald unleashing hell upon me right now. <sighs> A little bit chody, but my hammer and sickle will have to do. You know when you have like that trouble of just explaining to people when you're a YouTuber what you do in life? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah yes, I, I always strive to make the world a better place by building a <laughs> giant hammer and sickle in a city building game, and I torture my citizens by making them appease to my communist values. Oh, uh, well, people are already wanting power and water. You, can't, you can never please some people, can you? Uh, next they'll be wanting free elections and food. Who do they think they are? Oh, so I, uh, I had a bit of a rework on the hammer and sickle. Now it kind of just looks like my sickle has had a stroke. Yeah, I also don't know how I feel about us being attached to the land. I feel like the most successful communist countries have never been attached to other countries. Here we go, we just gotta cut ourselves off from the rest of the world. Also, yeah, don't let this city fool you. It's, it's got a whole lot of houses in, a whole lot of businesses, but uh, there's actually zero people living here. It's kind of like one of Stalin's photos where people just uh, mysteriously vanish. You know, in this scenario where they never actually arrived in the first place, which uh, does sound quite Quite, quite, quite Soviet now I think about it. But yeah, I don't want to be touched by these dirty, capitalistic, paved roads. I don't think so, buddy. I've got my gravel over here, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this river to fill up and then we're going to put 
a little boat across. Yeah, there's definitely some magic Soviet science behind how the hell this is working right about now. See, comrade, land is merely obstacle. Uh oh. Uh. Russian Navy's not looking too good. Uh, oh my god, the, uh, look, look at all the larders going through the, from the 10 billion. Oh my god, there's like a larder next to a supercar. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Look at that, that is not natural whatsoever. I wish I could make every single car a larder, but unfortunately this, this will have to do for now. Uh, I'll have to take the occasional supercar coming through as well, which I, I just saw another one. I'm saying that, maybe like the occasional whatever this is, like Lambo, Ferrari, whatever, I, I'm not not really a car person. Maybe that's just like one of the communist elite. Because I can definitely see Joseph Stalin. If he was around in the time of the Lamborghini, he definitely would have had a Gallardo. Lamborghini Gallardo, the, the people's car. I had to set up this little pit stop city over here. Otherwise, people just would not use the ferry to come over. So I, I, I lure them in with like a McDonald's because... <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look! We have capitalism too! Oh man, just look at that. 26,000 people. 26,000 people are rushing to get to the gates of my new land. And it's totally not because I'm forcing them to come over here after tricking them into coming to my small town that has a free McDonald's. Do you have a little bit of a crime problem going on though by the looks? I should probably just pretend that's not happening and just, you know, call it a day. I and mean, come on, you can't expect too much from me, guys. I, I I'm the communist benevolent ruler. I just want to go ahead and make sure everyone's happy and if people are happy stealing then who am I to tell them otherwise? Wait, actually, I, I should probably actually put down a uh, police station. Hold on, I gotta try this. Is it gonna... Oh, it didn't work. Okay, so I had a mod that puts uh, the, the police larger... Wait, is that one right there? I... Police la... Wait, why did it... Why, why is the police... Got a soldier in it. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yo, we got ourselves a police larder. And look at him taking down the trash in the town. Uh-oh, that's, that's a bit awkward though. Looks like my, my police larder has actually got in a police chase with a normal police car. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Just, uh, ha hashtag just Russia things. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on here? You know what? I, I figured out they're just uh, they're just executing some traitors. That's right. You fluffy bastards thought you could get away with it. I know your capitalistic greedy tendencies. Execute them! I think when I spawned them in, I might have put the radius up a bit too big because now, <laughs> now there's just a few random guys just hanging out in the middle of nowhere shooting at... God knows what. Oh, I, I, I thought it'd be a bit of a meme. I got Checkpoint Charlie, but the requirement to have it is have less than minus one money, which um, apparently, yeah, I, I don't have minus one money somehow. But uh, I did up the security on the other side of the uh, the uh, ferry. So once you get off the ferry, you uh, <laughs> you know what, you know you've been bamboozled into that free Mackey D's. You know, whoever said the communist architecture isn't just a sight to behold? Aren't you missing out now and feeling stupid? Look at this row of perfect houses. Completely, <laughs> Jeremy Parker. <laughs> I need to go visit him quickly. Oh, he, he's actually living right next door to the McDonald's. So, technically he's saying that my fake city is actually more depressing than the real city, which I can agree with! You should come live in the most epic concrete city of doom! Tater's public pot. Now that sounds more like it! There you go, just like the soldiers will whack this right outside the ferry place, so as soon as you come- Oh uh, wait, that's not like a statue of Lenin, it's just a dude on a horse. What's dictatory about this? There you go. Now that's more dictatory. It's just, uh, it's, it's a little off center. Oops. <laughs> I think they might get the picture as soon as they enter upon this cursed land. Oh my. Now th that is some prime real estate. Oh, where do you live exactly? Oh, just between the two statues of Lenin. Should I fill in the middle of these? Cause I, it feels really bare in the middle of the heart. Yeah, I'm gonna fill in the middle. Oh god, I didn't realize how long this is gonna take. I think we might actually see the rise of the Soviet Union again by the time I'm done with this. Oh no, I just had a great idea. We'll fill the middle bits with industry. Oh yes, look at that. The fire of the revolution. The home of the workers. As, uh, is, why, why is it on fire? It's already on fire. Capitalism, you work and then you die. But uh, with, with communism, you just sort of, you just kind of just die. But uh, don't, don't worry about that. Yeah, there's plenty of fun in between, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I like to watch, uh, well, thankfully, there's just sort of fire always going on in my city. There's, there's one right there. PlayStation's on fire though. Uh, there's a couple more across the street uh, and a nuclear power station. 
Hopefully that fire doesn't spread now I think about it. Definitely some sort of communist science going on here that I even I don't quite understand. All I'm giving my people literally everything and some of these are actually really terrible to have so have fun. Speaking, but also ban bikes on the sidewalks. I'm true chaotic evil trick cars only boys and I is that like taking all the cars off the market? I can't really see any. We've got like that's a larder right there, isn't it? That's is that a larder? I can't I can't really tell. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a larder. That larder is definitely not electric. Removed all traffic off of the roads right now. There's like no one. There's people on little motorbikes, so that's pretty cool. Although I, I do miss all the larders going everywhere. Jesus, just like getting down here among like the people. It's just so damn smoggy because of the industry, and there's just a plane right there. Uh, I must have just forgot about that plane I've put down at some point. I say like, this windmill is definitely not helping the cause. There we go. That's more like it. Whack down the Statue of Liberty and I will fake America down with the McDonald's and then we'll just, uh, <laughs> we'll just rebrand it a little. There we go. Societies would offer, you know, socialized housing, safety nets, workers' rights, but all I seem to have is a. Uh, a lot of debt and a lot of dead people. You know, I think it might be safe to say that there is uh, definitely quite a few problems in the city right about now. I never thought our perfect society could have any issues whatsoever for a while because uh, at some point the ferries just disappeared. They no longer work and on top of that, uh, this, the traffic seems to be broken and no one can really get into the city. Uh, I don't know what this issue might be, but I, I've got a feeling it, it, it's not an issue whatsoever. It's a feature. It's a feature of city skyline. In fact, I have like 10 billion mods running right now. Oh, even the McDonald's has been replaced now with a a, mar a marketplace. Wait, that... Okay, how are we supposed to trick people now? Airport, although we don't really have the room for one. Uh, I, I guess uh, we could just whack it down here. Yeah, that's, that'll do it. This might cause a few traffic issues, but because the uh, cars are all bugged out, we don't really need to worry about that at all. The uh, there aren't even any planes here. Okay, so all traffic, planes, ferries are, are just completely kaput right now. Turn the Lenin statues red. Oh, Jesus, Lord, true communism! What Marx was talking about when he was writing that book. So if the traffic might be fixed because the planes have turned up and we've got some cars and people coming out. I think, I think things are getting back to, wait, can I turn? Oh, I can't turn the planes red that, wait, can I turn the airport red? Red airport? No? Okay, never mind. Oh, look, and we put our little canal zone up, and now the boats are going round the city, and it works perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. We're gonna have to edit that one in the state propaganda. A bit of a pile up happening with these ferries right now. Uh, guys, use some of that Stalin disappearing power right about now. Careful, we'll just. We'll just bring the water over just a tiny little bit. Just, just a smidgen, a smidgen you could say. I don't want to flood anything. There's not even water in this part of the canal. It's just sort of bouncing like a bobsleigh. You know, the more I start to look at things, how things are run in my city is definitely how I now understand how the Soviet Union didn't really last. Uh, it only had its issues, didn't it? Oh, just a smidgen. And hopefully this fills in the rest of the canal and I've... I've sunk my entire fleet of goddamn... Scroll over here, I lose like 112 FPS. It's getting pretty bad. End goal here. In fact, I don't feel like I really have much of a goal. I'm just sort of shitposting. One is giving me lung disease now. Is that another fire? Why are we always on fire? Achieved absolutely nothing here, much like my... The entire point of the second channel. Um, either way, I, I think it's, it's done for now. But <laughs> my entire premise of making a town in the shape of a hammer and sickle, I think has been accomplished. Uh, nothing else otherwise has actually been accomplished, but you know what? It's all about the the trying and the not the journey. That's what they say, am I right? No? Okay. Well, if you want to see more random stuff on my second channel like this, uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and don't tell anyone I actually have a second channel. Please, God, for the love of God. <laughs>